Hi there. In this tutorial, we'll go over the process of stacking multiple layers of animated type in order to get a more custom look. This layering technique can be applied to any animated typeface with a customizable stroke width, such as Amelie, Anodyne, Indie, Medita, Mantis, or Madrid. If an animated typeface has customizable stroke width or line width, it will be in the list of customizable features on its product page. This technique can be used to create inline effects, extrusion, cutouts, or multiple layers of color. We'll start with an inline effect for Anodyne. I've already added a few characters to the composition. Now, before creating a controller, I'm going to duplicate everything and move it to the top. Let's give it a different label color too. Only then will I make a new controller for both groups, so I can customize them separately. The order of these steps is important, because if you duplicate a word that is already linked to a controller, you can't link it to a new controller anymore. You'll get an error message if you try. By duplicating before adding controllers, all characters are still new, and exactly on top of each other. Now let's select the controller at the bottom, increase the line width, and set all the colors to be white. Next, we will organize the layer hierarchy in such a way that we can punch out the lower layers by setting the track mat to alpha inverted. I'll quickly turn on this layer in the background, so you can see that anything that's in the background is now visible in the intersection. Let's try another one. This time I'll use Anodyne with Font Manager to create a layered look. Simply type a word and hit Write Text several times. Each word will be automatically placed in the same position. Let's increment the line width for each controller. I'll select the uppermost controller and give it some new colors. For the other layers, I just sample from the first layer, but in a different order. And there we go. A very complex look in no time at all. Another example is with Madrid. Here I've used the same technique to create a multi-layered tribute to Lance Wyman, who designed the identity for the 68 Olympics in Mexico. When you have lots of layers, it's probably a good idea to select your characters and shy them, leaving only the controllers visible. In this example, I alternated black and white strokes on seven layers of type. Another example is with Webster. Here I've used the same technique to punch out holes. In the upper layer, I've set the line width to zero, and the dot size to be smaller than the default value, in order to punch out the holes in the dots underneath. With Medita, this technique can be used to create a cool extrusion effect. Let's type depth three times. Now 
Now select the first controller and choose some new colors. Set the stroke to something small like 15. Wedge width to 1 to get a perfectly rounded stroke. And turn off bulge and splashes. For the second controller, we'll choose two different colors. Leave the stroke as it is, but also set the wedge width to 1. Turn off bulge and splashes here too. For the third controller, set the stroke to be slightly smaller than the layer above to prevent edge bleeding. Pick new colors and set the wedge width to something high, like 100. And choose a nice angle, let's say 135 degrees. And finally, turn off bulge and splashes again. And there, we're done. Let's do one more with Amelie. I'll write overlap with Font Manager two times. I'm going for a white and heavy stroke for the upper layer. For the bottom layer, I'll go with an even heavier stroke in the same color as my background. Now I'm going to drag each layer from the bottom group right underneath the same character from the upper group. By doing this, we get a nice overlap in between the characters. Since we have a single color as background, it already works for this example. If you need it, you can set the layer mats to alpha inverted in order to punch out the overlapping parts. Let's fine tune it a bit. And we're done. I hope these tricks inspired you to try out new things. Remember that all the examples in this tutorial can be found in the free source file so you can have a closer look. Thanks for watching and see you next time.